Don't you wish there was a list of mistakes that women make with men to better your chances? Well, now there is, and though you may not like some of the items on the list, they are often true. It's not to say that men don't make mistakes, but these errors can bring a great relationship to an end. So if you want to ensure that you don't make these mistakes, stay till the end, we have some useful info coming right up. Number 1. Pushing too hard for commitment too soon. You want to be in a committed and long-term relationship, but he's not mentally there yet. If the relationship is new, try not to focus on what will happen in the future. If you push too hard for commitment, it can often come across as desperate. Although you may want to state your intentions, this can be an instant turnoff to him. Wait to see what will happen and only talk about your future if you've been together for a while or if he seems to be at that point of readiness. Number two, being too hard on themselves. Some women have a hard time taking a compliment. Women are often their own worst enemies and it shows. When women come across as insecure or severely lacking confidence, to him, that's a turn off. You must not put all of your faults or weaknesses out there, especially early on. But focusing on positive attributes that you have will show him what a valuable partner you are. If you don't see the good in yourself, then how can you expect him to? Number three, comparing their relationship or man to others around them. If you know that your best friend is in an awesome relationship, never compare yours to hers. Although you may want to point out things in a healthy way, all you're doing is making him feel insecure. People in general do not like to have their own inadequacies pointed out. So remember that. Although you may think that you're pointing out to a good example of what you would like, your partner will only hear criticism. Try not to be overly critical and this can go a long way. Number four, not allowing for a bit of healthy independence. You are in a relationship with him and you want to spend time with him. If, however, he perceives that he can't do some of the things that he wants to do, he'll most likely run away from you. Although he wants to be with you, he also wants to be able to be a bit independent too. Allow him time to spend with his friends and to enjoy hobbies that he was a part of before you. Don't mistake this for giving him permission not to make you a priority, but do be sure that you can both maintain some type of independence. Number five, talking about the future when he's clearly not ready. Be in tune to what he's looking for in the future and recognize when he feels ready for it. Rushing things is never going to benefit you and you need to remember that. If you've been in a relationship for a while, then it's fine to discuss what lies ahead. Do, however, be prepared that your timelines may be different and know if you can accept that or not. Talking about the future prematurely and making plans will most likely scare him away every single time. Number six, not putting enough value on the intimate aspects. If you think that men don't care about a good sex life, you're wrong. No matter how committed or happy the two of you are, sex does matter. He wants that connection and he needs the intimacy. You may not be as interested in that aspect of the relationship as he is, but do be sure that you put value on it. Know that you need to find a healthy balance that works for both of you. Number seven, not trying hard enough with his friends or his family. You do need to make a good impression on his friends and family and yes, it does matter. You need to try to put on your best face when you're with his family and try to develop some sort of relationship with his friends. Although you may not be a fan of either of these groups in his life, they are important to him. That means that they are also important to you now. Number eight, trying to change him. Not only is he never going to change, but he's not going to like you trying to change him. If you have a certain way that you want him to be, ask yourself first, if it's unreasonable. Now, it's one thing to ask him to dress up for an occasion, that's fine, but quite another to ask him to be somebody that he's not. Now, although you may see the person that he can be, if you go about trying to change him, he will eventually sense it and he may resent it. Trying to change somebody is an instant sign that you're probably not the person that he's supposed to be with. Number nine, becoming too clingy or giving up on your own life. Just as you want to be sure to maintain a bit of independence, you also need to be sure that you're never too clingy. Although you may feel like you want to be with him every second, never give up on your own life. Stay close to your friends and keep up with the hobbies or interests that you had before. Although they may change over time, you do need to be sure that you're still the person that he fell in love with. Being overly clingy is never a good thing, so don't become that woman and you'll be just fine. Number 10. Trying to change who you are to make him happy. Don't ever try to be somebody that you're not, he will sense that too. You can never go wrong just being yourself and being happy with who you are. If he sees that you're trying hard to be somebody else, he'll probably view that as a sign of weakness. Don't fall into that trap. 
Be who you are and this will be healthy for you. It will be good for him and it will help lead to a long-term and happy relationship overall. Good luck in figuring him out and avoiding these common mistakes. Huge thank you as always for taking your time out to watch our video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We'd love to know your thoughts on our content, so leave your comments down below. Until next time.